using the calculator to look at different radixes and ways of manipulating binary versus decimal. Okay, this is where we were at and there was something additional I wanted to show and that is the radix. I'm going to open up B3 and lock it on top and I'm going to change the radix to decimal. So I have three, three integers and I'm going to put 1000 enter, 2000, enter, 3000. Now we all know what those numbers are and we could name something within seconds that cost almost, almost exactly $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. $1,000 are a pretty nice large flat screen or curved TV. $2,000 one of the best curved, um, if you want to call it curved flat screen, I know that sounds like I'm double talked there. And $3,000, a real nice one with an audio system. That's just what popped into my head. So we, we're all familiar with 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So we're using B3 colon zero this is zero right here so this is b3 colon zero b3 colon one b3 colon two we're using these as integers in other words we have decimal now i'm going to switch that back to binary now you see what 1000 2000 and 3000 look like in binary well the, i don't get anything from that even though i i'm doing this i'm looking at those three and i'm going what what the so you see what I mean? Looking at binary and looking at decimals, two whole different things. The point is that if you want to know what a decimal value is in binary, you just saw a way to do it. Now there is another way that's probably easier and we'll leave that in that form. So you can put in any number you want, 6,391, enter. Then go back to binary and that's what it looks like in binary. We're going to leave it in binary, except changing it to all zeros here is more work. So I'll go back to decimal and put in zero, enter, zero, enter, zero, enter. Now I'll go back to binary. There's another way to do this, and that is to use your calculator that is in Windows. Now, just looking at that, you're going, okay. Well, go to View, go to Programmer, View. Now you can put in a value, 2000, and wa see what happens down here? Let's make that zero. Watch down here. Watch the bits down here. That's a bit zero through 31, 32 through 63. So you can do 64 bit binary from here. So I'm going to click on that, hit zero. Well, it made it 20,000. So I'm going to have to use the clear. See, that goes back to zeros. So any value that you want to see in binary, 7,841. See, these values change. Or if you have a binary value, you could type it in here. We'll clear. Okay, notice that as I type them in here, they're showing up down here. Now I go to decimal and it tells me what it is. So the calculator is very handy for going back and forth between binary and decimal. You can also do hex. Now, if I switch these down here, notice, so that's a, or that's a long integer. This is a double integer, two 16-bit integers, 0 through 31. This is a word, and this is a byte. So you, this is really quite a handy uh, tool.